Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Brian. Today we're going to go over a 100 watt foldable solar panel for you folks. And this came from the fine folks over at Oystate, I guess is the correct pronunciation of that. It's just your basic 100 watt foldable travel, easy to move around solar panel. It is a monocrystalline silicone solar panel, puts out 18 volts, again, 100 watt max but the efficiency rating on this thing is between 21 and a half and 23 percent so that's kind of industry average efficiency rating so when you plug this in on a 100 percent bright full sunny day you're not going to get 100 watts but we're going to test that out today because i've got a perfect day to test these things not a cloud in the sky so that's why i'm doing this today should be able to give us a good idea of what this thing can 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 output into my battery unit so um, it is just a single fold which i kind of like and it's magnetic closures so there's no velcro straps there's no buttons there's nothing of that it's just magnetic and it folds right open and you're ready to put it up so it's very similar i think to the jackery solar sagas obviously a lot lower price point but it's very easy to deploy it's just open close okay and this is an etfe material so it's it's very rugged i don't know if you can hear that but and it is water resistant so don't don't go throw this thing in the lake because you will burn it up but if you get a little bit of dew on it if it sits out overnight and you wake up in the morning and there's some moisture on it you'll, you should be okay it is water resistant and just some quick specs if you're wondering exactly how big this thing is we are looking at 23 and a half inches from the bottom to the top 21 and a half inches side to side so it's a fairly small footprint for a 100 watt panel and thickness is maybe a half inch okay very very thin and i'm not i'm not including this pocket with all the charging cables in it but just the actual solar panel itself is very very thin so this can easily fit behind a truck seat or wherever you want to put it it does have two velcro kick out stands on both sides and these are movable to, to get a, the best angle of the sun. And then in this bag, it came with the cables that you're gonna need. And this bag does have a waterproof rubber gasket around the zipper, which is good. It's gonna help protect the internals of this thing. So when you get this, you're gonna get this charging cable. It's kind of a four in one type deal. So it's got an Anderson plug to looks like a 5521 a 5525 and an eight millimeter and I, this eight millimeter is going to be mainly for your jackery units they like to use those i don't have anything that uses this type of input so i'm not going to use it but and then you get your actual solar panel connection units with an anderson plug most of my other solar panels actually have the 5521 or 5525 cord already attached to it this has got the anderson uh, cable on it so it's not a big deal because they give you what you need so you can just simply plug in this to the end of what's already installed into the solar panel get yourself a good connection okay and then you can use 55 21 55 25 8 millimeter whatever whatever your battery unit needs so in my case i'm probably going to be using the 55 25 but i'll test that out with the battery so it comes with everything you really need to get started unless your battery just has some kind of wonky weird input that you need but out of these three you, you you'll probably be fine everything kind of just fits nice and tidy in here on this unit here once you, once this start once this is in the sunlight you can actually plug in a USB-C quick charge uh cable here and you can charge whatever your device you want via a quick charge usb it also has a usb type c 45 watt power delivery output so you can actually use a usb type c cord to plug in here and then output that to a, like say a laptop a phone a battery bank whatever you want to charge up to in theory 45 watts so it does have a power delivery output option as well so you can plug this directly into a battery to charge a battery you can plug in a usb type c cord charge a phone a laptop you can plug in a usb c type a quick charge to charge whatever you want multiple different options to charge things so now with this being such a clear bright beautiful sunny day i'm going to get this thing set up i'm going to plug it into my battery and we're going to see how many watts this thing can output and i'm going to compare it to my ideal solar panel that's 100 watts also that i know puts out a solid 70 70 to 75 ish watts on a, on a good day so we have something to compare it to at least so let's see how this goes 
So these things really can't be any easier to set up. And this is absolutely a perfect day to test these things. So, I'll run this to my battery. So we're in the shade now, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. Okay, got the battery down to about 90%. Let's plug in that solar panel. 52 watts, 51. 50 watts. Okay guys, let me show you what I'm dealing with here. I mean, we're a full, bright, sunny day. Fifty one watts. Well, guys, I got to say that's a little bit disappointing right now. Uh, only fifty two watts. So for a comparison, I'm going to plug in my ITL 100 watt solar panel that was pulling between 70 and 75 watts, put it in the exact same spot, exact same angle and see what kind of watts this battery gets off of that. OK, so. Essentially, exact same condition. Got them both at the same angle. I'm going to plug them into the battery now, see what this other one does. And I'm still pulling 52 watts off of this Oitade, so let me pull this out. I'm going to plug in the ITL. Okay, here goes the ITL 100 watt panel. Up to 56 watts. 78 watts. This is plugged into the ITL 100 watt panel. Okay, both at the same angle. Let's go check the battery. Pulling 78 watts. Let's get this down to zero. Zero. Plug that in. 48 watts. Very interesting. I'm going to plug in the ITL one more time. Let's let that get down to zero. We're at 52. 74 watts. Okay guys, so in the name of science, I have decided to redo this test, okay? So I realized maybe I wasn't giving it a fair fight with the different uh, cables that I was using. So I'm gonna be, be using one 14 gauge, 10 foot DC cable on both units. And now we're gonna see what the difference is between the amount of output both of these panels get and see if it is a difference. So I have got on the Oitade, I've got the new cable hooked up going directly to my battery and I'll show you what we're pulling out of that panel now. But here we got the Oitade. We've got the new 10 foot 14 gauge going directly into the battery and I'm pulling now 67 watts. Now let's see what we're getting. 67 watts from the Oitade. We are at 75 watts on the ITL. Okay guys, so what did that little test prove? Uh, A, it's too hot outside to do that. B, cables matter. After I realized that that might not have been a very fair comparison using different cables, however, they were both 10 foot long cables, even though they were different, same footage, different cables, I decided to use the same cable for both to keep everything as accurate and scientific as I could, and I used a 14 gauge DC cable. When that happened, I got more wattage out of this Oitate. I got up to 67 watts of juice compared to the 76 watts of juice from the ITL. So, Still not getting up to 70% uh, of the rated 100 watt panel on this Oitade. You know, 67 watts isn't bad. Um, and it's an absolutely perfect day to be testing these solar panels, not a cloud in the sky. So um, this is $189.99 on Amazon. If it goes on sale, sure. Yeah. 
If it doesn't go on sale, I don't know if I would recommend this. Um, I do like the form factor. The form factor is very small and thin. Um, the ITL is, once, once it's folded up, is very small and thin, but it's four sheets and it's only got two kickstands, so it's kind of wavy. You know, it's kind of hard to get every single panel perfectly parallel to each other. This guy, you know, has got just two big panels you open up with a kickstand behind each panel, so it's very easy to get it exactly perfect where you want it. And I tried to get it as perfect as I could, and I was getting 67 to 68 watts of juice out of it. So, you know, you guys make your own assumption, and I'm over here sweating. So you guys can make your own assessment on this, but in a perfect, perfect day, perfect sunlight i was getting 67 to 68 watts of juice off of this thing okay so and again it's 189.99 on amazon and you know the build quality is good i'm not gonna i'm not gonna knock the build quality it seems sturdy it seems like it's gonna hold up i do like that it's just a magnetic catch so it's very easy to to deploy again i've said that before but it's very easy to set up so it's got its pros and it's got its cons obviously and uh you know i might even take this thing out on a camping trip and give it another uh you know real world in field test to see how it performs when i really need it to perform so, so guys here's the review of this oitade 100 watt foldable solar panel so i hope that was informative take care